Kia ora, Marama. Morena. Gee, you're a bit of a rock star in those debates. <laughs> Far out. It's pretty easy to stand staunch when you've got awesome kaupapa. It yep. felt easy to just fight for it and I was proud of all of our candidates actually across the motu we were hearing back from community. So and so was awesome here, so and so was awesome here. I was like, yep, this is what happens when you have a transformational plan and positive vision for our people. What sort of um, vibes happening in the Green Party now? Oh, celebration, absolutely, with Far Out. We've gone and doubled overnight our Māori Pacific Caucus. So Tamitha Paul yes. just whipped in Wellington. Big one there. Um, Huhana Linden from Taitokero, Darling Tana, um, who was our Tamaki Makoto, and a Yes. And so really, and plus another three. And so we're really wrapped about that. We never wanted a national government. So let, let's be clear about that's the bittersweet part of it. But it was on the cards, so not fully shocked. We've just got some awesome grassroots movement to build on and going to be fierce in opposition. So, any surprises for you? Uh, I'm not sure if we expected Tamitha, Tamitha's campaign to have that much of an amazing outcome. Thousands ahead, I believe. Pretty stoked about Rungotai. Not surprised because Julianne's calibre is incredible, uh, but another seat. Uh, and holding uh, Auckland Central twice, unheard of, for the Green Party, uh, really wrapped that our campaign. I, before, before election night, I was clear, I'm pr proud of our campaign no matter what. Mm. And that's the message that I have for our incredible volunteers and supporters who worked hard all around the motu. So you'll be in opposition? Yeah. That's absolutely clear, yep. right? Okay. Um, so... I mean, you've got seven sitting MPs and seven new ones. Yeah. Uh, some yeah. fresh blood there. Yeah. So that's three years to do what? What are you going to be doing then? Build up our caucus, as you said, with seven new. That's the same number of sitting that we've got. So we've got a lot of mahi to do to focus and prioritise our values, to pick up. So the fact that we managed to penetrate the voters in, in a, a blue wave, I suppose, just shows how much we resonated. We're able to land our positive values and plans for protecting Papa Tuanuku, for Hoki Whenua Mai, for a wealth tax and for an income guarantee, rent controls. We managed to penetrate and give people something to see that they could vote for. So we'll continue that mahi and just um, supporting our new MPs into this weird machinery of the government. It's kind of a, an interesting thing to go from opposition, um, thinking of national, go from opposition into government. It, the whole dynamic changes, doesn't it? It's like... It does. Greens have been in opposition for most of our existence, but we've never been reliant, or I should say, we've always been aligned with our community voice, the community power. And so that is particularly significant in opposition. We've built on the decades of grassroots work that our Greens have always done. Our campaign brought that even more into the light and that's where we find our power and our strength. We are going to, we are going to rack it up and we've worked really well with Te Pāti Māori. It's clear that our people have been inspired by a, an unequivocal voice on Māori issues and vision. And so that mahi, and I'm talking to our whānau at home, to keep that hope, because that mahi, it stays and it grows. Mm -hmm. So pushing things to the edge more. Keep going. Like, yeah. In our in our campaign, we were we were brave. We were offering up plans and visions that would help our Fano now, but also for seven generations ahead. That's where our growth is. That's where our enduring growth is and movement for the Green Party. Mm. You've got a lot of similarities with the party, Māori. When I was looking through your policies, I think, oh, yeah, you guys are all kind of a, a bit on the same waka there. We worked well, we've always worked well with Te Pāti Māori over, over decades, in fact. Yeah. But particularly through the campaign, Moana, and I know you've spoken about this in your kōrero, we could see the, the toxic racism that was being whipped up. We could see the dehumanising narratives that were being whipped up for people who are struggling the most. We could see that and we knew we had a job to resist that, to make sure that people knew, actually, we know our people, many are struggling. We know you're doing the best with what you've got. We are here for you to amplify your experiences and your voices. 
Te Pāti Māori and I, we realised that we had a real role to call that racism out and we'll continue to put up the, the whakaro and the solutions also. And of course, um, there have been casualties in the Māori seats from the uh, Labour Absolutely. Māori caucus. Um, what would you like to say I'm about that? I'm mihi to them. I mihi. I've worked with Nanaia uh, for long before I got into Parliament. She is a wahine Māori of mana. There is absolutely no doubt about that. I congratulate our new and youngest uh, MP in what, 170 years, Hana Rafiti. But we're losing a lot of good people, a lot of good Māori moana. And there's pain in mamai in that that I acknowledge. Not just for them, their whānau and their team behind them. It takes a lot to keep our Māori in these positions. So I'm mihi to that. And we'll continue to hold on to the work and the gains that we've made over the past six years and to keep that momentum going. Oh, kia ora marama. All the best. Kia ora Congratulations. Thank you. Ngā mihi. Mm.